Welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs. Today I'm so excited to show you the house behind me. It's the Lockwood Corner and it's by Persimmon Homes. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom property with a downstairs WC of course. And the pricing, the size is going to be listed on the screen on that side actually. I think it's going to pop up like that. But yeah, if you want to watch the tour, stay tuned and we'll talk together. Hello, come inside. Ah. Right, so let's get straight into the tour. What are we seeing? We're seeing a really interesting kind of plan to the hallway. It's kind of got an angle to it. And I think in terms of size, it's a nice size. Right in front of you, you've got the staircase going that way. You've got a door going into the kitchen, dining over there, and then the living room behind you. So in the hallway, we've got this really, I think it's luxury vinyl tiling and kind of like a really almost warm light colored wood effect you've obviously got your front door there which i should have touched on earlier it's got two lights above it bringing in lots of light into it two pieces of glass bringing in lots of light it's all white at the back with chrome ironmongery and then these face plates these kind of nickel um, metal effect face plates to the light switches are probably an upgrade and then you've got your consumer unit again this could vary depending on which development there's a radiator definitely to the hallway which is great and then let's go into the first room actually so the first room off the hallway is this over here which is your kitchen diner um, again the furniture here has it's staging so it's up to you what you want to do with it this could be a little snug if you want to put a little tv here you can do it is dual aspect so you've got a view facing the front of the property and the side there You've got the kitchen in this u-shaped formation over here and you've got your integrated appliances i like the way this has been kind of paired with the dining area a u-shaped formation to the kitchen i love the j pull handles so let's talk through the kitchen really quickly so you've got this kind of white colored um beveled edge worktop with these grooves in the sink a one and a half ball you've got a window in front of the sink facing the side of property which is fantastic you've got these kind of upgrades like these uh, down lighters here as well and then by the actual hob you've got your electrolux induction hob you've got your electrolux integrated oven there as well it looks like there's a double oven there you've got your extract fan there with the touch screen there that's fantastic and the coloring is just very neutral very bright and airy fridge freezer is here it's also that j pull handle and it's all on soft closes as well so let's that's fantastic i almost dropped my finger and i think let's have a look there's probably yes a dishwasher also zanussi fantastic so that's the kitchen diner before we leave this room let me show you there is a mystery door over here and this is a, your store cupboard it's triangular it's a good size and as i'd always say put a light switch in here so that you can have lighting in there it can be really functional there's a radiator on the wall and then there's a utility room i love the fact that there's a utility room here as well the boiler as well logic combi ESP135, the same quality worktop that we saw in the kitchen is in here. Again, you've got your space for your appliance here, which is great. I like the way they've made it like a little breakfast, not a breakfast bar, like a little microwave, you know, rather than just completely laundry. And the space for utility, another appliance if you want it, or you can put maybe a dog bed there if you've got animals. And then off the utility, there is another a, a downstairs toilet another room basically and it's more of a traditional layout where the downstairs toilet is close to the rest of the plumbing in the house in the kitchen if you're from england you'll know what i mean by traditional layout that's how they used to do the houses back in the day so you've got a two-piece suite toilet sink and then radiator wallpaper is gorgeous i have to say and yeah that's your toilet back in the utility i don't know if i mentioned this before i probably didn't there is a door going to the side access way to your garage on from the utility and then let's go back into the kitchen back into the dining room and then let me show you the other room on this floor which is over here this is your lounge or whatever you want it to be if you don't want a lounge you want an entertainment area or you want a 
glorified dining room you can but staged as a lounge it's a fantastic size you can just see it's very spacious they've got an l-shaped sofa at the end but you could put an armchair there another one there you could create a focal point on that wall and have the chairs going around here but what i do want to mention again it's another dual aspect room with windows facing the front of the property and you've got double doors facing your own private garden let me show you quickly a sneak peek of the garden you can see roughly what you're going to get so you get paving slabs lawn and the boundary treatment aka the fencing is depending on where what part of the site that your plot is and then you've got access to your garage your private garage that way now let's go to the upstairs or the first floor now that we're here on the first floor you can kind of look at the um, the landing and the shape of it. it's L-shaped landing it does connect really nicely to the downstairs it's not a gallery landing but again it feels really nice and open you've got a window in the hallway which I always love because again I've said this time and time and again all the doors are closed imagine all the doors are closed everyone's home everyone wants their privacy but you still get that natural light flooding into this hallway because obviously you've got your window so the first room on this floor is this room it's a single bedroom you've got a window facing the side of the property you can see it fits a large single bed bedside table wardrobe would probably go in that corner and it's a really good size second room is here this is a double bedroom so they've put the bed right on entry and I would say it's a large double guys I don't think a typical double would come this far out but again even with it coming this far out I think that it's a very really very very nicely sized room I'm kind of doubling up on adjectives here because of my excitement it's got two windows one facing the side and one facing the front radiator like I mentioned earlier and yeah it's a good sized double bedroom oh before we go wardrobes wardrobes would go there I think there or you can have a, a small single wardrobe there or a closed rail cool so that's room number two uh before we go into that room let's check out what's in this mystery door ah storage above the staircase i absolutely love that fantastic so again put a light switch guys this should be standard um okay family bathroom three-piece suite i love the tiling in here window fantastic Fresh air is always best, guys, in the bathroom. The ventilation is just so much better. You've got your toilet. Oh, actually, and you've got, it looks like in this development, you get the option of a towel rail. It's a very, very large one as well, very tall. You've got your toilet, sink by ideal standard, and your bathtub, really good size bathtub. You've got the glass divider screen. This shower add-on is probably an upgrade. Probably it just comes with a bathtub and you have to, add on the shower as in you have to request it from the developer but in the shower the system is a Myra Azora and it's an electric shower but yeah that's just beautiful and you've got that gorgeous flooring to it as well so let's go to the last room on this floor over here Ooh, the excitement guys 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 this is your primary bedroom wow okay so they definitely got this they smashed this kind of out of the park this is great so you've got your sleeping area over here and then you've got your walk-in wardrobe area here and then your own suite area over there in terms of sizing it's perfect so you've got a large bed here i think it's double but you can make it a king bedside tables either side you've got a dressing table over here but it indicates you could probably have a wardrobes over here fitted wardrobes put over here you've got a window facing the garden and i love a private a window facing the garden the primary bedroom it always is great when it's rear facing because you know you get to see um, the garden and it's a bit more of a chilled vibe and then I was gonna say you've got artwork that doesn't come with the property that staging you can put your TV there though and then they've put in fitted wardrobes over here this would be an upgrade you'd have to add this on but again you already know you've got space for a wardrobe and it's a large kind of wardrobe and this whole area definitely you know it's a fantastic kind of walk-in wardrobe area and then the ensuite is just over here it's got a window which is fantastic a window in a private ensuite you've got your towel rail there your toilet your sink and a large shower really really good so the shower over here not sure if it's thermostatic this time so it looks like it's a thermostatic 
shower versus an electric one so it's going to be very powerful and it's running off the hot water cylinder but again ideal standard and then that's a myra minimal shower so you can look that up as well and yeah that is the ensuite i love that um, so I really enjoyed touring this property. I hope you have as well. If you saw something that we missed, comment it below. But most of all, subscribe so you get notified when our next video comes up. And a video is going to pop up on the screen somewhere. And click on it and I'll see you shortly. Bye.